grace and peace, everybody. Welcome to Berean TV. Um, kill the Easter Bunny. A question came in about Easter. Why, if the pastor understood the history of Easter, why would the church still celebrate Easter in all actuality on the Christian calendar? That is one of the, that is the holiest day in all of the Christendom. But to my Christian people, Easter is a pagan holiday in short. I, mean, I can't get into the whole thing right now, but Easter is a pagan holiday. And when we say pagan, pagan is a word that Christians use, a derogatory term that Christian use, Christians use um, for people that were outside of the Abrahamic faiths. When we say the Abrahamic faiths, Judaism, Christianity, and Islam are considered the three Abrahamic faiths or the faiths of the Western world. And anybody that practiced anything outside of that, the church fathers and others would call, would have called them um, pagan. Christians later on would call them pagan. If you're, a, um, if you're into the ancient mysteries, any mystery from Rome, Greece, Egyptian mysteries, you would be considered pagan. And when it come down to it, pagans had certain rites that they would practice, and it was it involved polytheism, polytheism and nature worship. Now, when we say polytheism, poly just mean multi. That's where we get the words. We'll use words like polygamy, multiple wives. Or um, polytheism is multiple gods. Theism is theos is God, theos in the Greek language. So polytheism is just multiple gods or people that believe in multiple deities, a God that's over the river, a God's over the trees and nature, a God of the animals, a God of the sky. Those people we would call pagans. They had rites and they had festivals that they would celebrate certain things on, like the spring equinox and when the um, trees are budding and when the trees begin to bud, they would celebrate the farmers. You know, when we became an agrarian people and did start dealing with agriculture, that was very important to the farmers, to any community in the ancient days. And they would have celebrations. They would celebrate um, the coming back of the leaves and the spring or the warmer weather coming in because they knew it was um, crop time and it was, you know, they could live another, they could live another year. And it would had, just had to do with the cycles of nature. And Easter was a celebration that actually came from that, from the pagans or people that used to practice or used to celebrate that. And so when it comes down to it, it's not, it's not biblical. Passover is biblical, but what we call Easter celebration is not. And it does, um, it amazes me. I have pastor, my pastor friends, and they, um, they have, they have Easter bunnies in church. They have Easter egg hunts. And these, these are guys that's been to school. They're educated. So why we do it, that's a that's a whole nother, that's a whole show right there. But we have to remember when we start dealing with Christianity, there's aspects of Christianity that have to do with politics. And it's aspects of Christianity that has to do with money. Plain and simple. Um, kill the Easter Bunny if your pastor won't do it. Thanks for watching.